Welcome to English Skills Mastery. Today, we're going to follow Grace through a typical day at her job as a customer service officer. This story will introduce you to key vocabulary related to the workplace. Get ready to practice and improve your English listening and speaking skills as we explore Grace's day at work. Listen carefully. A day at my work. Hello everyone, I'm Grace. Welcome to a typical day in my life working as a customer service officer. My usual work schedule is from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. I often arrive at work half an hour early because it gives me time to settle in, check my emails, and prepare for the day ahead without rushing. As soon as the clock strikes 9, my workday officially begins. My first task is to check the customer service inbox for any new messages that come in overnight. I respond to each email carefully. I make sure that every customer feels heard and helped. This part of my day requires a lot of patience and a friendly tone. Around 11 a.m., it's time for our daily team meeting. My boss, Mr. Thompson, leads the meeting. He is a kind but firm leader. He always encourages us to do our best. In these meetings, we discuss any urgent issues and share updates. Sometimes, we get training on new products or services. It's a great time for learning and for team bonding. Lunchtime at 1 p.m. is a much needed break. I usually have lunch with my colleagues. We talk about everything under the sun, not just work. It's nice to have friends in the workplace who understand the ups and downs of the job. The afternoon is usually the busiest time of my day. This is when most customers call with their inquiries or problems. I wear my headset, ready to help, guide, and sometimes calm down the customers. It's challenging but rewarding when I can resolve their issues. Before I know it, it's 5 p.m. and time to go home. I tidy up my desk. Then I say goodbye to my colleagues. I head out, feeling accomplished. Every day is different, with new challenges and new successes. But I love my job because I get to help people. And that's a day in my life as a customer service officer. Interesting vocabulary and expressions. Before starting our speaking practice, let's learn some interesting words and expressions from our story to improve our English skills. Settle in means to become comfortable in a new place or position. Example, after moving to a new house, it took us a few days to settle in. Respond means to reply or answer to someone. Example, Grace needs to respond to customer emails every day. To feel heard and helped means to feel that someone listens and provides the help you need. Example, at the support group, everyone wants to feel heard and helped. To require means to need something. Example, driving a car requires a driver's license. To encourage means to give someone support, confidence, or hope. Example, my parents encouraged me to try new activities. Urgent means something that is very important and needs attention immediately. Example, many people are in urgent need of food and water. A colleague is a person you work with, especially in a profession or business. Example, I'll ask my colleague to help you with that report. Ups and downs are the good and bad times. Example, every relationship goes through ups and downs. An inquiry is a question or a request for information. Example, we're getting a lot of inquiries about our new service. Resolve means to find a solution to a problem or dispute. Example, have you resolved the problem of transportation yet? Accomplished means to be able to do or finish something successfully. Example, after finishing the project, I felt very accomplished. Now it's time to practice. Repeat after Grace. Hello everyone, 
I'm Grace. Hello everyone, I'm Grace. Welcome to a typical day in my life working. Welcome to a typical day in my life working as a customer service officer. As a customer service officer. My usual work schedule is from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. My usual work schedule is from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. I often arrive at work half an hour early. I often arrive at work half an hour early because it gives me time to settle in. Because it gives me time to settle in. Check my emails. Check my emails and prepare for the day ahead without rushing. And prepare for the day ahead without rushing. As soon as the clock strikes nine. As soon as the clock strikes nine. My workday officially begins. My workday officially begins. My first task is to check the customer service inbox. My first task is to check the customer service inbox for any new messages that come in overnight. for any new messages that come in overnight. I respond to each email carefully. I respond to each email carefully. I make sure that every customer feels heard and helped. I make sure that every customer feels heard and helped. This part of my day requires a lot of patience and a friendly tone. This part of my day requires a lot of patience and a friendly tone. Around 11 a.m., it's time for our daily team meeting. Around 11 a.m., it's time for our daily team meeting. My boss, Mr. Thompson, leads the meeting. My boss, Mr. Thompson, leads the meeting. He is a kind but firm leader. He is a kind but firm leader. He always encourages us to do our best. He always encourages us to do our best. In these meetings, in these meetings, we discuss any urgent issues and share updates. We discuss any urgent issues and share updates. Sometimes we get training on new products or services. Sometimes we get training on new products or services. It's a great time for learning and for team bonding. It's a great time for learning and for team bonding. 
Lunchtime at 1 p.m. is a much needed break. Lunchtime at 1 p.m. is a much needed break. I usually have lunch with my colleagues. I usually have lunch with my colleagues. We talk about everything under the sun, not just work. We talk about everything under the sun, not just work. It's nice to have friends in the workplace. It's nice to have friends in the workplace who understand the ups and downs of the job. Who understand the ups and downs of the job. The afternoon is usually the busiest time of my day. The afternoon is usually the busiest time of my day. This is when most customers call with their inquiries or problems. This is when most customers call with their inquiries or problems. I wear my headset, ready to help guide. I wear my headset, ready to help guide. And sometimes, calm down the customers. And sometimes, calm down the customers. It's challenging but rewarding. It's challenging but rewarding. When I can resolve their issues. When I can resolve their issues. Before I know it, it's 5 p.m. Before I know it, it's 5 p.m. And time to go home. And time to go home. I tidy up my desk. I tidy up my desk. Then I say goodbye to my colleagues. Then I say goodbye to my colleagues. I head out feeling accomplished. I head out feeling accomplished. Every day is different. Every day is different. With new challenges and new successes. With new challenges and new successes. But I love my job because I get to help people. But I love my job because I get to help people. And that's a day in my life as a customer service officer. And that's a day in my life as a customer service officer. Listen to the story carefully one more time. Hello everyone, I'm Grace. Welcome to a typical day in my life working as a customer service officer. My usual work schedule is from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. I often arrive at work half an hour early because it gives me time to settle in, check my emails, and prepare for the day ahead without rushing. As soon as the clock strikes 9, my workday officially begins. My first task is to check the customer service inbox for any new messages that come in overnight. I respond to each email carefully. I make sure that every customer feels heard and helped. This part of my day requires a lot of patience and a friendly tone. Around 11 a.m., it's time for our daily team meeting. 
My boss, Mr. Thompson, leads the meeting. He is a kind but firm leader. He always encourages us to do our best. In these meetings, we discuss any urgent issues and share updates. Sometimes, we get training on new products or services. It's a great time for learning and for team bonding. Lunchtime at 1 p.m. is a much-needed break. I usually have lunch with my colleagues. We talk about everything under the sun, not just work. It's nice to have friends in the workplace who understand the ups and downs of the job. The afternoon is usually the busiest time of my day. This is when most customers call with their inquiries or problems. I wear my headset, ready to help, guide, and sometimes calm down the customers. It's challenging but rewarding when I can resolve their issues. Before I know it, it's 5 p.m. and time to go home. I tidy up my desk. Then I say goodbye to my colleagues. I head out feeling accomplished. Every day is different with new challenges and new successes, but I love my job because I get to help people. And that's a day in my life as a customer service officer. Great work today. Keep up the amazing effort. Remember, each lesson takes you one step closer to English fluency. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more enjoyable English lessons. Happy learning. Goodbye.